Hi guys, it's wonderful to be able to join you on this final day of this week of devotionals as we've been looking at the Holy Spirit and how he interrupts us in our life, how he uses different situations and circumstances, how they are used and redeemed to transform us for the glory of God and to send us out into the world to proclaim his good news. I just want to finish today just by looking at one uh, final story from scripture. And it's the story of Peter found in Acts chapter 10. And we have to start reading at verse 9. About noon the following day, as they were on their journey and approaching the city, Peter went up to the roof to pray. He became hungry and wanted something to eat. And while the meal was being prepared, he fell into a trance. He saw heaven open, something like a large sheet being let down from, uh, let down to earth by, by its four corners. It contained all kinds of four-footed animals, as well as reptiles and birds. And a voice told him, Peter, you are to get up, kill and eat. Surely not, Lord, Peter replied. I've never eaten anything impure or unclean. The voice spoke to him a second time. Do not call anything impure that God had made clean. This happened three times and immediately the sheet was taken back to heaven. This may sound like quite a random story. A man, hungry, it's hot, it's tired, starts to daydream. And what does he imagine? He imagines food. It, it makes sense. But actually, this is a significant moment in the history of the church. You see, what's going to perceive this is actually Cornelius, a Gentile, is going to send uh, some, vid- uh, um, uh, some of his servants to find Peter. And Peter is going to come to Cornelius' household. He's going to preach the good news. Cornelius and his whole household will get saved and will get filled with the Holy Spirit. And it'll be that encounter that starts to change and transforms Peter's thinking about this whole movement, this whole good news of Jesus actually isn't just for the Jews, but it's for everyone. And then they will go back and we read in a couple of chapters later that at the Council of Jerusalem, that the apostles sit round and they start wrestling through, well, is this just a Jewish religion? Is this just something for the Jews? Or is this something for everyone? And they will point to the fact that Cornelius and his household get saved and filled with the Holy Spirit as being the definitive sign, the definitive confirmation that actually it is for everyone. And all that is only able to take place because of this Holy Spirit interruption, because of this vision, this revelation of Peter, that all, that actually whatever God has designated as being pure and clean, actually are pure and clean. And that's a clear reference to the Gentiles. So as we wrap up this week and as we look towards tomorrow when I'm going to be preaching on Acts chapter 16 and how do we process these Holy Spirit interruptions and how do we then kind of uh, live them out? What are the steps that we need to put in place? I think that we're confronted with this choice, with this question. And the question is this. Are we open? Do we actively believe that God in, wants to interrupt us in our life? Do we actually believe that God is wanting to meet us in this moment of need, in this moment of questioning, in this moment which for some will be a moment of chaos, whether it's through losing a job, through ill health, having to move, whatever it may be, do we actually believe that God has something that he wants to say to us today? You see, Peter, after three years with Jesus and after what happened on the day of Pentecost, He walked out his faith with this sense of God interrupting the everyday, of God breaking into the everyday moment. And so even though this particular moment would take him on a completely different trajectory, would change his life forever, he was living with a sense that God can and will break in. And I think that's the attitude that we need to be have, that we need to be um, walking this season in is expecting, anticipating, looking towards God through his Holy Spirit, interrupting us. And when we have that attitude, when we are tuning our ears to heaven, then it is amazing what actually will take place. So that's it. That's that's the challenge. It's not difficult. It's not complicated. But if we embrace it, it will be life changing. And so I hope that over this week, as we've explored some different characters and different stories, that you've seen part of your story, 
part of your own experience in theirs. And from theirs, you've had a certain sense of strengthening and encouragement as you navigate yours. We're actually going to be taking a break for a while from these um, daily devotions. I just want to encourage you to get into the Word of God. It, it has the power to speak into you, into your moment, into your situation. And so if you found that the daily devotionals have been a helpful thing, then it's worth checking out things like BibleGateway.com uh, has uh, amazing reading plans and amazing devotionals that you can uh, use as part of a, a regular quiet time with God. Thank you for uh, joining me this week. and I look forward to tomorrow where we have a little bit longer to explore how we live out our lives when God's spirit interrupts. God bless.